Here we are out on the Dutchman, headed toward Miner's Needle, looking back now at Peralta Trailhead from where we came. Very large saguaros. The Akatillo are just starting to put on the red blooms. But some of these saguaros are massively tall, lots of arms, very healthy, chunky. Now I'm heading the camera. That's back toward the trail. We have not made the junction yet. And my hiking partner is somewhere out there. And there's the Cathedral Rocks. So we'll stop right there. All right, here's Linda right below Miner's Needle. And it's gorgeous today. And I'm going to zoom up to the eye of the needle. Just so you can see the blue sky there. Now we're going to zoom out. Linda's sneaking out of the picture. I can hear her on the sidelines. And now I'm going to swing around to give you a view of this beautiful country that we're in called the Soup Erstitions. And there you are, super today. We're getting wildflowers, huge saguaros, very happy and full saguaros. Those are cathedral rocks ahead of you. Now I'm kind of looking towards Superior area, if you're familiar with the area. And now I'm going to veer to the south here. Kind of looking east now, because that's why the sun is so bad. In the camera the light's not so good. And now I'm making a full 360, and there's Linda again. Say hello, Linda. And here's one of the nice tall saguaros. And we're going to come around again, and when we get to the end here, we will be facing Miner's Needle. Fabulous, fabulous. Yeah, and there's Miner's Needle. This is where we had our lunch today on the Bluff Springs Loop, but we're still in the Dutchman part. And we'll do one more pass by so you can see what a wonderful place this is. I'm actually sitting on a rock. I actually call it a booth because I can sit all the way down with my back against a rock. We have some lovely water and the waterfalls that you can't quite see through the camera view, but there they are. Wish you were here. And there's Linda, she's getting out her lunch. All right, this is our lunch spot today. We decided to stop here because we've been climbing up a hill for a lot here. And I'm going to try and take this movie horizontally because I did it vertical already. And now, I don't know if I'm going to flip the camera upside down, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into this little waterfall here. And then I'm going to flip the camera over, so be prepared. There we go around, and this is way. Oops, oh, I lost my waterfall. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, now back up. And it goes down into this ravine, which you can kind of see in the camera. And then in front of us is Miner's Needle. And we're on the Dutchman Trail, not too far from Whiskey Spring Junction. All right, we're at the junction of uh, Whiskey Springs and Dutchman. It is noon. And looking ahead where we'll be going down the Lost Dutchman in that direction, which I believe would be north. And now, or actually, is it north? This is where I get, no, I think it's west. I think it's west. Anyway, now I'm going this way, which is, I think, to the south. And I will show you eventually here where we came from, which is Miner's Needle area. And where that big rock is over there, I'm going to zoom in for you. Although you can hear a lot of wind noise. A lot of people were having lunch there and are still there. 
And of course, once we go down this hill, we won't see the miner's needle as much anymore. And now I'm looking east and coming around the corner, and there's Linda reviewing the map and the instructions. We think we stay on the Dutchman, and that's where we're going to go. Yes. And now I'm on the Dutchman to Bluff Springs. Bluff Springs. How many miles? Terrapin. Terrapin? Terrapin. Okay. And that is Whiskey Springs that way. Now we're going to veer around again so you can see the beautiful mountains of the superstitions that, with the gold, beautiful colors. And I'm going to zoom in on one particular formation that I think is pretty cool looking. And there it is straight ahead. Look at that. That's like totally cool. Those sharp, jagged rocks. Now I'm going to zoom out, and I'm sure that somebody knows what they are. I just don't have to be that person. And there you are. And we're going to be on our way. Okay, we're on the Bluff Springs bleh, Bluff Springs Trail right now. Well, actually, we're not on the trail. We're hiking in the creek here a little bit. You can hear all the water. And ahead of me is Linda Walsh, well, you see, sitting down over there, getting a picture of our little mini cascade of waterfalling. Gorgeous day, lots of water. On the trail, too, really. We've had to walk around a lot. Awesome. I'm so tall in front of you there. Okay, we are now on the uh, Terrapin Trail, and ahead of you, obviously, is Weaver's Needle. Let's zoom in there. Whoa. Big thing, isn't it? Now we'll zoom out. Some fellows oh, we were behind climbed up there to that saddle that you see in front of you. But we've been hiking all day. We need to get back to the trailhead sometime before 5. That's our goal, anyway. So, this is a... Uh, the, the, the trail's fairly easy coming up. Yeah, I only fell once, but that's because I was doing this instead of paying attention. And now I'm kind of circling back to the east. And you see it's beautiful terrain up here. And my partner's there. Hello, Linda. Doing her Hollywood wave already. And, and that's looking back toward the direction that we will be going and that we came. And I can't twist my body any further than that, so that's all you're going to get. Who do you think you're fooling? I always want to say that. And we actually even have, believe it or not, we have running water up here. It's astonishing. I mean, you know, your high desert, green grass, flowing water, little cascades, lots of fallen over agave. And then we'll take one last peek there at Weaver's Needle. See ya!